Hello guys, uh, Lee Machine Painting here again with uh, a bit of an array of uh, deliveries that have come today and as you can see one of them is this uh, gaming map from I think it's gamemap.eu or something like that um, I wanted a bit of a city type one <laughs> I couldn't really see one too, too many like streets and that I wanted maybe I need to look somewhere else but this one's a bit more I don't know when you look at it it's a bit more like an in Look at the interior of a spaceship, it's got piping, uh, you can see pipes down here. If I moved it around you'd see pipes in other places, but it's got like hatches and, and different things. But it's okay because it'll do for now and then I can get other mats in the future. Uh, maybe I'll get a street one, one with a bit more street on it. And also a sort of a wasteland one, uh, for mainly for my orc to sort of fit in. The orcs, but I've you've probably seen all these before, so I'm not going to do like a full on report of these. As obviously, you know, it's mouse map material, uh, it still looks like it could, you know, it's like a, like a like the fabric mouse mats kind of thing, so you could still get stains and things. Like that. I think I don't know if it would wipe clear, clean or not. I'm probably not going to try that <laughs> just in case I leave a great big stain on it, but I won't go around and show you the whole map here. It's a six by four, covers our two of our boards that we had here put together looks better to have this than playing it on the MDF board obviously rolls lovely that's a pretty good roll to be fair as well so awesome little mat so that's the mat anyway so that's the gaming mat um, we'll get some others probably probably two more a street one and a, uh, a wasteland one like I say but this will do for now it's almost like an interior of a spaceship though really I was hoping for a bit more of an industrial type one but I'll look around and find that but the other thing is the progression for our orc uh, project, so to speak. So we've had a big delivery here today. So uh, I'll go through what has come through. So you've got the obligatory boys. So we got boys, more boys. Uh, everyone's seen them. Everyone knows what they're like. I've taken the cellophane off because who wants to sit watching someone just pulling cellophane off stuff? And then of course, of course I can't even open it. Here we go. Three sprues in there, so you get ten boys and a knob, or boss or whatever knob. So eleven in effect. Boys in there. So I'm going to go for big blobs of thirty boys if I can. Big units of boys, thirty, because you get your extra bonuses if you're over twenty guys in the unit. So at least with t with thirty, you actually can't put them in so much of a vehicle, but um, at least it won't be so easy to to get picked off. And obviously you've got your instruction and these are old models these aren't like new made you get your transfer which is going to be quite good because I've got the the checkered pattern on there and whatnot so that'll help a little bit but I probably prefer to have a more of a paint look than a transfer look for that but we'll see so there's two boxes of those guys and then we got I don't know if these are, I'm not, again, it's not so much about the competitiveness or not, I just want something a bit shooty, even though it's more of a close combat army. In effect, I'm guessing what I'm going for, but I still want something that can shoot. Uh, I was originally going to go with burner boys and stick them in a the vehicle, but then I thought, well, no, actually, I've already got five guys made up as looters. So I thought, well, why don't I get more looters and make it a proper unit? Um, give me the option of like 10 or 15, I'm not sure how actually, I didn't look in the book. Uh, unit size what the maximum can be for shooters so if it is 10 I'll probably do a unit of 10 and then decide whether to make one into a burner or f save it and then get another loot box I don't know but again that's just you know yeah, you've probably seen these again they're not they're not new models they've been around for quite a long time no transfer sheet in these oh, so is, is there a transfer sheet there's instructions no no transfers in those but then you've got a sprue for your burners, uh, nothing special, just your burners. And then obviously you've got the, uh, the looter guns there. And then you get your guy, the spanner or whatever he is, dude. They can have the mega bla blaster thing, basically like a plasma arm, I can't remember what it's called. That's those guys, nothing too, too crazy. I don't think there's enough stands there, then. Still not liking the little tiny stands that come on. I want to get slightly bigger stands. I think, am I correct in saying it went to like a 30 mil or something like that? Possibly, I don't know. I might look at lots of different stands. Um, bases, I mean, not stands. Um, 
So then I've really got from when I first started collecting a long time back when I back got into to collecting. Uh, I've got a load of orcs off eBay at different stages and I've got some of the killer cans. Again, this isn't all necessarily about the most competitive list, so I don't know how they'll perform, but it's all about the narrative for me. And obviously these got a bigger base because I do love doing a bit of a bit of a nice base, a bit of a decent fit, and you've got a bit of space that you can put something on there. So again, just killer can spruce. You've got all your different weapons and your close weapons, like these great big drill bits things here, which are pretty cool. Um, I'm going to magnetise them all. I've got loads of magnets delivered, off, which I got off eBay as well. Loads of different sizes, hundreds of them. Um, some are just really, really tiny ones as well. Probably too small, to be fair. And I hope this lighting is okay because it's in the evening now. Um, I think it's gone seven. It's probably about seven. Well, it's almost half seven uh, in the evening. So hopefully this lighting isn't too bad. I'm just sat down in the. Actually, it might be my brother's house in the front room. So it's not mine. Well, I'm not at my place, um, but this is where I had the deliveries to because I knew he was he had a day off today, so I got it delivered here. So I thought whilst I'm here, um, so you know, well, killer cans. I just love the models. Um, I'll work out whether I want to go really shooty with them or try and get them across the board and get them into with a weapon that might be able to take out either a medium or to light vehicle or something. I'm not sure stats wise or anything like that how they go but they're going to be magnetized so I can mix and match and play with them a little bit a few, few games so I can know how basically in my head I want to go through with them now one of the good things I quite liked was the was the uh, start collecting box actually for the orcs I thought it was actually really good quality price wise um, can't remember what I've paid for all these different things but uh, so it comes with the death dread, it comes with, is it 11 boys? It says on the side here, so if you see on the side it's got a list of what you get. So at the top you get a pain boy, you get 5 orc knobs and an ammo runt, and you get 1 boss and 10 boys, so in effect 11, and then you get your death dread, so I thought that was pretty cool. Because uh, I want a couple of pain boys, because now it's all about your characters with their zones of buffing. So again, for the orc project, nice box with a load of goodies in so you get your sprue there for your pain boy which is a beautiful looking model looking enviously and proudly at his uh, his whatever it is power claw singe weapon or whatever it is scalpel shrins type power claw weapon thing grinning away lovely looking model with his little grot orderly on his back I didn't know if it would come with a separate uh, no it's an ammo run I thought there might have been like a separate little uh, orderly model on the side, just but he's, a, he's got one on his back. And then you've got the bits for the, for the Death Dreads, that's quite nice. I've already got one which is probably a bit poorly put together when I first got back into things years, many years ago, seven, eight years ago. Loads of boys, which are always good. And some nice little different things, skulls and some... Some someone's chopped off someone's head and put around his belt. Some bits to put onto your base there. Some sort of like ammo and there's a mine there. That's quite cool. Yeah, just some little extra bits. But they're boys. But he's actually looked better than a few more bits than what I saw in normal. Was one there carrying a mine. So I don't know if these actually have a few little different things that aren't you don't normally get. And then you've got some more bits for boys. And then you've got two sprues for your knobs. So you've got the one with mainly the body parts and a few of the ha weapons like the choppers and that and then you've got more of their sort of bigger guns, the combi kind of guns and power things and two handed whatever they are and loads of little bits and stuff. Now from all these models as well, on here you've got like a few instruction things, you've got some transfers, you've got some instruction things, hang on, there's only one base, oh no there's a bag of bases on there, oh. <laughs> I thought there was just one base. No, that's right. Um, with the extra bits, I'm planning to do a series of orc terrain. Um, <clears throat> so I've built some orc terrain. Maybe you know, some plastic card things, but then you've got all these other little extra bits that are left over from the things that you won't use. I mean, I'm magnetising a lot of things like the killer cans and the death dread and whatnot, but if there's any other little bits left over, like the little... Uh, things that would go on top of a totem or something like that, I don't know, we'll see what's left over and we'll get that done, but I quite like this starter get started kind of box I thought it was quite good I get 
quite a lot in there, really. So I don't want too bad price price. Then, I've got one of these. I painted one of these a long, long, long time ago. A couple of years, probably. When, when it first came out, I can't remember when that was. So a year, two years, when it, when the, when it might have been longer. I can't remember. And then I sold it to someone down in... Uh, in, where was it? It's Malay... Yeah, Malaysia. Somewhere in Malaysia. Um... And I just wanted one again because I've got to have it for me all Kami. So I'm not sure which one to go for. I don't know. I don't think. I don't know if I can magnetize it. I don't know if it uses the same, some of the same parts for its bits. I don't know for its arms. I mean, you can magnetize like the custom, the custom bit. I think on the top and a different type of gun up there. The head. You could probably, I don't know, we'll have a look, we'll go through that when we put that together. I'll do a probably step-by-step -step sit and chat kind of video with this one. Um, I'll probably go through a video of assembly. I hope that's not too boring. But again, I'll use it to just chat to people and you know, put questions and, and things together. And so then we can uh, have a look and go from there. Um, and then I'll do a painting one. I'm going to do lots of weathering like because there's obviously a bigger space on there. Although it's quite cluttered with stuff as it would be with an orcs. But I can get some some streaking effects, get some dirt and grime up into it, some rust in there. It's going to be not yellow. It's going to be me. Uh, I still don't know what they're called. Is it goths? Black with the white checkers. I think it's goth. I don't know. Uh, then, <laughs> probably not again highly competitive, but for fun. We got one of these. So we got the Waz Bomb Blaster Jet, which you can obviously do with the, the different combos. So it's the four different ones you can get. You can get the Burner Bomb or the Blitzer Bomb or the Daka Jet or the uh, Waz Bomb uh, Blaster Jet. Now I don't know if I can really magnetize this one to be able to go to the other ones. The Waz because it's got different, I don't know, it's just quite a lot different to it, I think, like the tail ends and things. But I might be able to uh, magnetise the two different types for the Blitzer Bomb and the uh, Burner Bomb. I don't know if I'll end up bothering having a DACA jet or not. I've got to look at the rules again and see. Uh, I just think it looked a bit plain if you're throwing your points at it. It's not really got much armoury gun wise. I don't know. But then. Well, you, you can't just have one, so you've got to have two. So, you've got to have two because he needs a wingman. You can't just send the guy out on his own and expect him to go running around. Uh, all on is a Todd. Um, but then, obviously, not even taking this one out of the cellar, of course you need three, don't you? Why not? So, <laughs> probably just a waste of points and stuff, but again, it's just about having fun. A squadron of three absolute lunatics flying around the field. Um, just shooting whatever they can and probably missing everything but I got three because I looked in the book and one of the detachments you can have uh, I think it was three flyers and you get like I don't know command points or something. but I thought why not um, just throw three in I might do one Wazza bomb jet blaster jet or whatever it is and then uh, two of the bomb ones uh, to take out troops I guess to drop, fly over troops and drop a bomb but hopefully before they get shot down so that's the big delivery, other than obviously if you watched the video before with the Forge World uh, that I got for the Orcs. Um, there's a few more little things probably get. I mean, I've already had some stuff. I've got a, um, I've got a battle wagon. Um, I've got Gazgul Fwaka. I've got, uh, I've got other boys as well that I need to paint. I've got knobs already. I've got, I've got a Forge World. Um, truck which I've had for a long time I got a forgeable weapon I bought as well I think it's like a zap gun just because I like the look of it it's probably rubbish in the game but again I don't care it's about having some fun now I've got a load of paints as I mean some of these are for this project some are not um, one of the ones that's probably not is uh, the vomit uh, I just wanted the vomit because I'm doing Nurgle and things like that as well for like commissions and well not really so many commissions more models I want to paint and sell um, and as they're new out you're more likely to sell them at the minute then I've got a load of different ones. I've got loads of greens and stuff anyway, but I just wanted to make sure I had enough. Uh, let's have a look what greens I've got here. So I've got, where is it? So I've got a heavy game color, heavy, uh, heavy black green. 
I'd probably put because of the base. I've got, I like to then put, I can't remember my combination because I haven't painted orcs for a while, but I know that I use, I like to use Cayman Green. Um, I also sometimes, before I put the Cayman Green on, is I put a bit of a purple, a bit of a purple in, and then work that up. So I might put this on and then get a bit of a bit of purple in places on as like the highlight points uh, and then work this work this up then to the Cayman green because I really like the Cayman green gives a nice dirt, dark dirty sort of earthy skinny kind of color and then I've got a few paints I'm not really sure which to go with I'll have to have a look because I think I think scurvy green may be a little bit too bluey green too turquoise type of green too jady um, but I don't want to get paint on this mat We'll see how it comes out the airbrush. I know I already had one of these paints, but I think I had it so long and haven't used it that it's gone pretty manky inside. I don't know, it's just got a bit weird. Um, I'll get it out though, the other one, and see if I can use that one first just to save that one and then start using that one. I got this one again, I'm not sure if it'll get used, but I can use it on other projects, is uh, Mutation Green. Um, so I might use this if I end up doing any kind of... I might put this actually towards the pox walker, see if I can use this or anything, anything in there. But that's like a really dark... that's quite a dark green actually. Yeah, see how that comes out the paintbrush anyway, because sometimes they come out different than the paintbrush. You can find ways of using it, but then obviously you've got obligatory gob goblin green. Uh, I've got a goblin green already, but again that's not been used for so long, it's gone a bit strange. So at least I've got a brand new one because I'm going to be using lots of paints. Then, because I'm going to do around the lips and things, I like to just because I've got little bulbous bumps on around their lips where their lips are out and different points on there, is use a bit of dwarf skin. I've not had the dwarf skin before, but loads of different skin tones, but not dwarf skin. So I might try that and then maybe a, a lighter skin tone just on top of it, but really spotted with the um, the airbrush, just tiny little dots of it on the lips um, and then for the clothing because I'm going for a slightly deserty type bunch of goth guys so uh, for the clothing for the cloth just for a bit of contrast on the black I didn't want too contrast I didn't want to go to the primary colors um, so I've gone for I've got heavy gold brown which can come out a bit yellowy I think but I've got it anyway I think I've already got that to be honest upstairs uh, in my, well, not upstairs in my place um, Leather brown, which I can use either on the leather straps or I can somehow incorporate that into into clothing or even some basing. But for the basing as well, I've got desert yellow, and I've got other colours that I can use. I've got like Iraqi sand, and I've, oh, I've got I've got loads of other different ones. But this is quite a nice deep bit of a deeper sandy colour to build up from as well. Uh, I'm gonna throw a bit of flashes of some red around where I can, and I love the transparent red. That comes out of the airbrush beautifully, especially over blacks, darker colours, it really brings it up. So I can bring that a bit in and then I can use another lighter red on top of that, a bloody red or something, I don't know, we'll work that out. Then obviously because they're goths, lots of black, so I've got two extra pots of black. I think I've already got two brand new pots somewhere as well, uh, or one pot, so that's going to be plenty because I'm going to use obviously primer, black primer, but then I, it's going to be a different effect. So I'm going to go with the blacks over the top of that. Uh, then I've got some rust effect paint. I've already got some rust effect paints, but you can't have enough, especially when it comes to walks. I've got different things upstairs, not upstairs, at my place, because I paint upstairs. Um, I've got a dry rust, and see how that comes out. I've got a nice, really bright yellow rust, which is awesome. So that should come out lovely. A bit of dry brush from that over a bit of texture would be good. Then for the, oh, I've got a wash as well, so I've got a Vallejo uh, rust, just rust, you, get, you can get different ones, you get like old rust, new rust, I don't know, that's just rust, so a bit of wash, I have another wash as well from Model Mate, um, which actually does leave it quite, it gives it, if you water it, if you put water over it, it goes a bit yellow, it's like a yellow ink really, so you just, you work it right though, it can look really good, and then for the oxidisation, I've got the Games Workshop one, but I thought I'd try the Vallejo one as well. So I've got this glaze to go in for like the oxidisation around the copper and things and I've also just got the paint itself because I just quite like the colour. I might be able to work it into some glow effects. And then randomly um, I've got this falcon turquoise 
which doesn't actually say falcon turquoise on it but when you buy it it says it's falcon turquoise I do have a couple of turquoise I love the colour and I might be putting that actually trying that on one of the four jeweled models I've got not orcs though uh, I don't think I'm going to be incorporating that unless I might throw it on a shirt the guy just found a, a blue shirt somewhere um, just to break it up a bit and then I've got some airbrush cleaner so it's going to be a lot of airbrushing done I don't want to run out of that so that's the project uh, well and truly stocked up and quite a lot to do um, it's going to take a, a long time to get that all completed but we'll uh, we'll crack on and get it on uh, so thanks for watching guys please like share uh, give me some uh, Give me some followers and some viewers. Share me, tell me what you think about those models if they're going to be <laughs> probably not so competitive. But um, maybe how you would gear, which one you'd go up with this guy, um, and if you've experienced magnetising it, is it a nightmare? Um, am I better off just just doing it, whichever one I end up doing it? I'm thinking this guy. I've forgotten which one he is. Gorkonot. Yeah. Ah, oh, he says up there. Gorkonot. And then that must be the more. Yeah, yeah Gorkonot. So I think I'm going, I think I'm going Gorkonot. It's not about the competitiveness, it's just about, I don't know. I think he's a bit more shooty, isn't he? I don't know. Yeah, let me know what you think, guys. If you think it's a bit of a nightmare, too much effort to magnetise this one. And, uh, yeah, let me know. Have a chat. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care.